Hello everyone, this is Vamsi from codefo.com and today we're gonna see how to connect our emulator to a local host using Android Studio. Here we'll be covering XAMPP server and Django server. Both of them uh, will be connecting our emulator to both of the servers individually. So let's get started. First of all, let's open Google Chrome. So if you see this uh, apachefriends.org you can download the exam server uh, exam server basically consists of apache mariadb php and Perl. it's a php environment server so it's available in three flavors windows linux and os x so since i'm using mac i'll be downloading this exam for os x as i already have the copy of it uh, let me mount it and if I click on this and drag and drop it will be installing in my Mac OS it's an easier process in Windows so uh, let me open my applications and click on XAMPP application so it opens my XAMPP application but the server has not yet started if I click on start let me click on start it started my server in the meanwhile, if we go to the services tab, you can see MySQL, Apache and uh, ProFTPD are both disabled. So since my server has started, we can start all the services. Let me click on network. Let me click on enable so that we can use a local host forwarding. click on volumes and click on mount so that we can explore the exam servers folders so these are all exam server folders in here's my hdocs folder if I double click on it, it consists of few folders uh, if you see the dashboard folder I can be accessing it via Google Chrome so localhost colon 8080 slash dashboard if i click on it it will be opening the index.html page located in dashboard folder here's my index.html page which uh, our browser has opened so let me go back and create a folder called json in order to place our json file so a JSON file is located in my desktop. Let me drag and drop. If I click on, if I open this file, I can see the three news articles in JSON format which I prepared for this tutorial. Let's open Android Studio and let's modify our project accordingly so that we can take the news articles from Sam Server. Here's my base URL, which I will be modifying according to the Android developer documentation 10.0.2.2 is the IP address which I should be pointing to, and the port is 8080 slash. So if I here I am using retrofit, so I need to be forming a URL using API interface. If I want to check my URL, here it is. So here JSON slash my file dot JSON, where I placed my file in our exam server. If I give the same URL here, so it will be forming the complete URL. So let me click on run. So here all our three news articles have been started from have been taken from our local server. Here's our SAM server with three articles which our emulator is showing right now. So here completes our SAM server tutorial. Let me open Django server. Let me click on a start server. So here's our Django server started at 127.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
dot one slash eight thousand. If I click on slash dashboard slash news, it shows my news article. So let's use it in our project and let's point it to our news app. So uh, here's our port is eight thousand for Zanga project. I need to be modifying the URL such that it will be pointing to uh, slash dashboard slash news, which is as shown here. So I can be directly giving slash dashboard in app constraints directly. The remaining part is news slash. So let me give and let me remove this thing. So let's start the so our project again to check in emulator whether it's pointing to our Django or not, Django server or not. So here's our single article which is taken from Django server. So we are successfully showing our news article from Django server too. So this completes our tutorial. If you like our video, please like hit a like button and make sure to subscribe for more interesting videos thank you everyone and take care bye